Why, hello there. What's going on? Um, so, this is a video about how psychedelics changed my life. And um, I'm mostly talking about psilocybin because that's all I've done. So, mushrooms changed my life. Um, and I don't mean this in like a, a cringe, new age, you know, woo kind of way. I mean this in like an actual, like, grounded and insane sort of way where it's actually applicable, applicable to your life. And when I was coming out of, you know, three years of hell um, with heavy metals and parasites and uh, sluggish liver, all that, all that garbage, agrochemicals, all that stuff that I went through. Uh, <laughs> um, and I began to, to detox that out. I found out about psychedelics and that they were, people were using them to overcome their mental health issues, which now I see that mental health issues aren't in your mind. <laughs> They're in your body. They're in your body. And, you know, they also get to your brain and stuff like that. But that's also your body. They're not in your head. That's what I'm talking about. And, you know, over, I haven't done, I haven't gone on a trip in like since December and it's August now. But, you know, for the year, a year and a half that I was doing them pretty consistently, um, I've been on 10 trips. I I got good results, you know, except for the one time I did a heroic dose. I'll talk about that another time. Uh, that fucked me up, man. That fucked me up for a while. <laughs> um, some of the insights I got from psychedelics that were actually... Um, really changed my life for, you know, lead with your life. It means, you know, talk is cheap. Lead with your life by your actions, by who you're being. And, you know, life, this is, we'll talk about this later, but life's greatest gift is its meaninglessness. And with that, you get infinite meaning. And we'll talk about that later. And it helped me, you know, deepen my love for life and, and have have the vision to fall in love with life. Because that's really all that, honestly, that's really all that matters to me at least. It's just how in love with life are you? <laughs> um, paradoxically, it, it showed me that, you know, life takes work. And, you know, a lot of people say these things can, can make you lazy, right? And, and they can, because you, you realize it's all just a game. <laughs> You realize it's just all, you know, it's all bullshit, human bullshit, uh, fucking bam, buffoon shit. <laughs> but it taught me that life takes work and you can't just expect things to magically happen. Um, it taught me how to return regret because that one of the trips I was dealing with the regret and, um, it taught me how to return regret into reflection so you can make better choices in the future. And everything is consciousness. I mean, you got to figure that out for yourself. Um, and they taught me to be my own mother and father. You know, be your own mother by the, in the sense where you love yourself unconditionally. And then be your own father in a sense where you're disciplined and you're hardworking and you know when you're bullshitting yourself and you know when to get things done and to be serious. Um, they show me that I, I'm a pretty cool guy. Uh, I have a lot of hobbies that I don't really call hobbies. I call it my life's work. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just interesting. I'm a pretty cool guy. And And what's important to me is being grounded in my life. Groundedness is one of the most essential things, I think, in life. Just being, because we're here for a reason, right? You're not human to transcend being human, unless you are. Uh, <laughs> but most people aren't. Uh, I think it's important to be grounded and just to be sane in your life. And love your life and live your life. And when we, well, the only thing, okay, the only thing I fear is myself. That's all fear is, is a fear of the self. Because you're projecting your fear onto other things. 
And when we destroy the earth, uh, we destroy ourselves, right? Because we're just microcosms, right? My fucking <laughs> microcosms of the macrocosm. So when we use all these agrochemicals and pesticides and uh, we fucking spill oil into the waters, we're just destroying ourselves, man. You know, the factory farms, we're just destroying ourselves. Not vegan, by the way. <laughs> um, and growth, growth is a want to, right? Many people think of growth as they have to grow. They have to do this. They have to do that. That's going to make you freaking miserable. I'm telling you, it's going to make you miserable. What you want is you want to grow. You have to develop that, that, that desire to grow. You can't force yourself to grow. You can't force growth. This is what a lot of people miss, especially, you know, when they're trying to start different movements and, and push, push ideas on other people. You can't, <laughs> you can't push a high consciousness ideal onto someone who is fucking homeless. <laughs> You can't. They got other shit on their mind. This is something I fell into for a while. Like, I would always go to people with, like, you know, maybe life is different. Maybe you can be financially abundant. Maybe you can do this. And it just goes over the head because they're not even, they have other shit to deal with. It's not going to work. All that matters is, is that you, remember, lead with your life. You do it. Talk is cheap. <laughs> um, this one's with. This one was a weird one. This is an insight uh, that I got with with the girls. I was like, instead of thinking, you know, will they like me? Ask yourself, will you like them? And that kind of you know switches the perspective a little bit because. You want to, you know, <laughs> the famous words of uh, of my friend Alan. <laughs> he was an old guy. Uh, he was like, what you want is you want a girl that likes you for you. And that always stuck with me because, like, why would I be with someone who, you know, may be pretty, they have a pretty face, but who's just a horrible person and who I don't like and that who who doesn't really like me, it, it doesn't work. Like, it doesn't work. And I've seen a lot of people in those relationships where it's like they're just with each other because they're with each other for a long time and they'd rather be with someone else or they'd rather not be in a relationship and it's just a mess. There needs to be openness and honesty and, and just, and honesty, not only with the other person, but with yourself. Because you can, the mind lies to itself constantly, constantly. So you have to really see the situation for what it is. That's, that's learning to see the truth. And then love is accepting the truth as it is. And all those insights are, you know, are just the tip of the iceberg. Because what psychedelics did for me is they gave me space, right? What I what I call space, space to, to rise above the, your survival problems and all that and to look down upon them with the greater perspective. And that's what I call space, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and, um, and the thing with insights is that most insights are not communicable. Or is that even a word? <laughs> communicable? We're gonna use it. They, you can't communicate them <clears throat> because the truth when you pierce when you pierce reality and and have an insight you're having an insight it's a truth and truth is it gets distorted through words i can't speak truth i can't speak absolute truth or any truth without distorting it because i have my own views on it you're going to have your own views on it but when you have the insight it's pure and it changes you deeply And, you know, when, the way I did psychedelics was in a calm setting. It was with the right intention in my room 
no distractions, no fucking phone, no people. It was by myself. Um, and that's, I suggest that you do that when you're starting out. Or with a, you know, a qualified person who's a, a qualified sitter who's done this for a while. And, okay, now we get into the nitty gritty. Okay, so... This is how psychedelics help me overcome nihilism. Nihilism, okay. So for about a year and a half, I was stuck in this like limbo phase where like I didn't really want to live. And there was just like this constant like, just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I was like dazed, bro. Um, but every day like, I worked on it. Like, I would always, I would question, you know, why, what the fuck is life? Like, why am I here? And this wasn't just like, cause someone told me to do it. This is because I genuinely wanted to know. It wasn't for for anything else other than that. And I really wanted to live a, a good life. At that point, it was either I was gonna find out or I was gonna kill myself. There was no other. There was no other thing because it, the nihilism really just suck sucked me in, bro. It sucked me in, and. Through a couple breakthroughs, and that's that's what changes you—a psychedelic breakthrough. Um, through a couple of those, or I mean, it was really just mini ones, and it was a big one. I I cracked the code to nihilism. It was, you know, a lot of people, especially in now, um, nihilism and cynicism are getting a big push, and what we fail to realize. And then that, and then with that push, you have the ego backlash of religion. So they move to religion, but what you don't realize is that you got religion, and you got nihilism, then you got this over here. That's that's where the, that's where the fun is. Uh, that's that's where I knew I was going, but I didn't know how because it didn't it didn't I didn't go through at the time. I didn't go through the nihilism, nihilism fully. You gotta go through it. You can't. You can't retreat back, bro. You can't retreat. And the the breakthrough that I had was that the nihilism went full circle and turned into awakening. And the insight was that yes, life is meaningless, and reality is completely uh, groundless. But you're you applying a negative meaning to meaninglessness is applying meaning to it your negative meaning is meaninglessness it, your negative meaning that you're putting on reality is meaningless that's it i mean your negative views towards nihilism your nihilism is meaningless that's really it. <laughs> and then with that, you move on to the, to the next stage where it's awakening. And you realize that all of it is fucking meaningless, everything. But, and then with that, you get infinite meaning, infinite creativity, infinite love, infinite joy. And this doesn't mean you're happy all the time and you're enlightened. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you awake to the fact that you're constructing this. That's that's the key. You have to be you have to develop the self awareness and then have the breakthrough to see that. You're bullshitting yourself <laughs> and you're using nihilism as a survival mechanism for your own ego. And don't, and don't get me wrong. It's not like I took, it's not like I wasn't doing like base level spiritual work. That's really where the important shit is and that you use psychedelics to expand that. So it's not like I took mushrooms and just this fucking happened. No, it, it was, it was intended and it was responsible and yeah and if you're not if you're not grounded in what the fuck is it? 
Oh, that's a squirrel. <laughs> I was like, that fucking raccoon is gonna kill my chickens. I'm like, damn. Okay. Um, if you're not grounded in your life and you don't have, you know, stability, do not do psychedelics. I, I advise you not to, because they'll just drive you deeper into that. <laughs> they'll do it. Ground yourself in your life. Uh, start building a life that you love in base level reality before you even think about going into psychedelics. Um, and psychedelics can truly change your life but they will grow you and they will mature you. So it's a matter of, are you ready for that? And if you're not, just, just be honest with yourself. There's no fucking rush. And that's something I fell into. I was like, I wanted to grow so badly. I was like, well, where are you? You're, you're, you're rushing towards death. You're not going nowhere. Like, and you know, psychedelics are not for everyone. Um, only you can decide with your vision and your goals and your temperament, personality, if they're good for you. Um, but this video is about overcoming nihilism. So that's how they help me overcome nihilism. I haven't done them in over eight months. Um, I don't think I'm going to do them this year. Because last time I did them was to December. Um, but yeah, I'm just focused on building a life that... I love in my base level world, the world around me, not in the higher realms. <laughs> but yeah, they can be a huge benefit, especially to people who are healing. Um, be careful. And yeah, that's all I got. Uh, peace out. Take it easy. Love life. And you got this, bro. Peace.